Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Teddy Covers from SportsMemo.com and Brian Leonard from WagerTalk.com. We're talking the Texas Bowl right now, and it's Oklahoma State versus Texas A&M, guys. This one in Houston. We're seeing A&M minus seven, minus full touchdown here, 54 the total. Teddy, coming to you first, Big 12 SEC, Texas A&M. A lot of people leaning that way from what I've heard, but uh, Oklahoma State and Gundy? You sure. got any interest in the dog? So, I mean, all, all, the early money's come on the Aggies, and you can understand why. You know, they're the best five-loss team in the country. Uh, I, I don't think there's anyone's power rating is going to give you a different, better five-loss team than A&M because you look at the five losses that they had, and they all came against teams that were or could have been number one, uh, literally. You know, like three of them against number ones, and then the, the two that weren't were like Auburn and Georgia. Yep. Um, I so, yeah. so, every loss they had was, okay, we understand it. Okay, we understand it. But, and A&M has a defense, and defenses tend to travel in bowl time, and we look to the defensive teams, and the, the two teams, the, the defense statistics clearly point uh, towards the Aggies, and Jimbo Fisher's got a good bowl track record. I mean, there's a lot of things pointing towards A&M in this game. I don't like Kellen Mond, dude. I've, I've watched him enough. I, I don't trust him in big games. And the thing about the Cowboys, you talked about Gundy and his uh, – you know, they've been a feisty dog. I'll just put it that way. And they can move the football. I believe that Oklahoma State can trade points with uh, the Aggies. So it feels like, a, you know, a one-score type of game, which has me leaning dog. But uh, the better play might be the over here. I, you know, I, I do – I think Okie State can, can score. I'm not convinced they're going to get stops. And the total, very reasonable, especially considering all the defenses that te te uh, Texas A&M has played this year that – are a lot better than the one they're going to face in this game. Mm -hmm. And, Brian, t you know, Teddy talks to the over. I don't disagree with him. It's just, you know, Kellen Mond against better defenses. Not that the Cowboys have, have one of the best defenses, but he really hasn't performed well. Plus the fact Spencer Sanders out, um, Brown comes in, you know, the transfer from Hawaii. In the last two games, the offense didn't look that good. Now, granted, there was bad weather in, in Bedlam, but uh, overall, I, it's a – Interesting handicap, but are, are, are you liking the Cowboys? Or yeah, this is, this is the the pendulum is swung. At four, yes, Texas A&M was the play. At seven, I think it's Oklahoma State. We talked about uh, the teams that they they've lost to: Clemson, Auburn, Alabama, Georgia, LSU. In those games, they averaged 15.6 points. They lost every single one of those games. So because they're the five-loss team, sure they played good teams. But they still lost. They only scored 15 points a game. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden they're going to play another team and they're going to be favored by seven when Oklahoma State is comparable to that. And as you pointed out from a quarterback situation, I don't like Bond either. And I haven't liked him all year. I don't know why he was getting some publicity. But uh, if you're going to give me a team that I think is comparable, catching seven points here, I'm in it with Oklahoma State. Great stuff, guys. Anything in conclusion, Teddy? Oh, no. I mean, uh, uh, lean towards the dog, lean towards the over. I haven't bet either one yet. Uh, but we'll let you know if we do. But that back door might be open, huh? Uh, it could be. Right. Uh, but, it, you know, if, if the Aggies' defense is the dominant unit here, it won't be. You know, that, that, that potential exists. Follow him on Twitter, at Teddy underscore covers, and Brian on Twitter, at B Leonard Sports. Also, don't forget to check out Sports Memo's NFL opening line report, where Teddy covers himself, breaks down all the opening lines each and every Monday at sportsmemo.com.